Hello everyone and welcome back to the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. Me being myself, Connor Coulter, and you being yourself, the subscribers, the loyal faithful subscribers. Uh, now today is the day that I was going that I told you earlier on about the video that I was going to make after the St Johnston versus Hibs game that was played at McDermott Park earlier this afternoon. Now that game's just finished and I'm making my video based on that, on my thoughts about the game and I would like you guys as my subscribers and my viewers to be faithful to me and give me a like and a comment underneath the video and tell me what you thought if you had watched the game this afternoon. What I, what I wrote about the game is, it was a, to be honest, the full game was a real, real, real scrappy game. Both sides had the same stats. It was a scrappy game. And to be honest, I would say that Hibs would have, could have been the better team in the first half, even though St Johnston scored in the first half, the ball was in the back of the net at least three times in the first half and one of them from St Johnston, youngster, striker, Callum Hendry put a header into the goal and it should have been 1-0 to St Johnston against Tibbs as it was an offside and the linesman put his flag up to say it was offside um, that's another reason why I say that v, uh, VAR should be installed in Scottish football as referees and officials are making mistakes and it's costing the teams the, the game pretty much costing the teams three points either a point or three points in the match and to be honest I think I think that VAR would be real good for Scottish football and that it, would, it wouldn't cost teams the game in Scottish football it would be a lot more fairer, be a, the games would be a lot more interesting, the leagues would be a lot more interesting and you've seen yourself in the Premier League down in South, it does work out. Now that's what they should have up here as likes in big games by the old firm, um, not so much anymore because Hearts are in the Championship but Edinburgh Derby and the Lanarkshire Derby you want VR special in the matches, especially in the Scottish Cup semis, semis and the Cup finals. Um, you'd want to see v VAR installed for in the matches, as the referees and the officials could get that get that one eye view wrong and give a penalty when it's not a penalty, or handball when it's not a handball. If you know what I mean, like there is a lot. In mistakes that get made in Scottish football and it is the referee's fault based on that um, so yeah um, it was a scrappy 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 game the whole game apart from um, about into, it was no no up until stoppage time in the stoppage time then um, Hibs conceded a corner crossed the ball into the corner um, one of, uh, I can't remember what his player it was, took a shot, it was cleared off the line by experienced St Johnston midfielder Liam Craig and he cleared it, went to Alex Gojic and um, young young centre back Liam Gordon of St Johnston gra grabbed the hold of the Hibs, the Hibs mid uh, players jersey and the Hibs plus fell, John Beaton gave it as a penalty and St John St Johnston conceded the penalty and Hibs went 1-0 up thanks to substitution in Stevie Mallon who got on after the first time after his injury that he got um, he, says, he said in the pre on the post-match conference that um, Sky Sports gave him that Jack Cross told it 
when they came on for Scott Allen in the second half, Jack Frost told him to be the match winner and he done exactly that for Hibs. Um, so yeah, scrappy game. I think that St Johnston have got a decent squad. They will have a top six finish this season, hopefully. And yeah, they've got, once they get the players back fit again, they're, they're no other no team that, will go, that I don't think will go down this season, in my opinion. Hibs, Hibs weren't that great today, in my in my opinion, and it, to be honest, it should have finished one all. That Callum Henry's goal in the first half should have counted, and that penalty should have counted as it was a penalty. So it should have finished St Johnston one, Hibs one, but the match official got the linesman got it wrong. Did, didn't give Henry the goal in the first half, and St Johnston lost a point today. Which should which they shouldn't have lost in my opinion, um, so yeah, I'm going to watch sports scene this this evening, and I will give you guys what I thought about the matches from over the course of the weekend, and that will be that. I will post a video in the next couple of days, based on what I'm trying to do for content in the next couple of weeks to months for you. Um, there is it's interesting content and you will enjoy what I've got planned for you guys coming up over the course of the next couple of weeks to months on the channel. Um, so yeah, as I, as I keep saying to you guys at the end of all my videos, give me a like if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, Subscribe if you're new. Give me a comment down below. Don't don't not give me comments, guys. Come on, get tell me tell me what you want to see in the channel. Tell me what I could do better, and anything really that you just want to see in the channel, guys. Just just say anything. Feedback is absolutely crucial for me, and if you don't give me feedback, then I can't make the channel even better for you guys. At the end of the day, um. As I, as I say, this has been the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast, me being myself, Connor, this been my channel, you being your subscribers, Sub give me a shout out to all your friends and family, get, get this channel built up, let's get this channel known, keep more people watching it, build, build our community, and yeah, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video, peace out, I'm, I am out. Goodbye, guys.